one of the oldest, if not the oldest Irish whiskey I've ever had myself personally. And without a doubt, definitely the oldest that we've had on the channel to date. I've had a Redbreast 32 a number of times at a different tastings, but this one just trumps it in terms of age. Now, without a doubt, this is the most expensive whiskey I've ever had, period, full stop. The retail on this thing is monstrous. Even the samples are huge money. And before we move any further, this sample is sponsored by the lads here in Christie's. To me, from them. And it is very much appreciated. So a huge thank you to the lads here. It is probably for being such an all-around nice guy, good friend, ball breaker type of person. But as always, all thoughts are indeed my own. Just sponsored by the wonderful little pub here, Christie's Bar. Thank you. Let's drink some expensive whiskey. Welcome to Whiskey and Whiskey. I'm the Whiskey Chaser Brian here in Christie's Bar. Again, hope you keep well. So it's not the first time that we've had this brand on the channel. We have done one or two other releases. I've gone into the information behind the brand a number of times, so I'm not going to do that today. It's been done. I'm tired of it. I've also done a video explaining all about the type of wood used in the finishing maturation of this whiskey before in a different Glenda Lock video. I will link that up here and somewhere down there as well for you to watch in your own time. This is the Method and Manus 33 year old Mitsunara finished single pot still Irish whiskey by Irish distillers. You do not need to adjust your viewing and listening devices accordingly. This is a 33 year old single pot still Irish whiskey from Method and Manus, or Middleton Distillery, obviously, Irish distillers. Method and Manus is one of the many brands under the belt of Irish distillers that is distilled in Middleton County, Cork. Now, as of recently, Method and Manus have their own distillery inside Middleton Distillery. Uh, they call it a micro distillery, but uh, that distillery is itself trumps and bigger than some other well-known distilleries around the country. And, terms of sheer size. After all, um, you know, size is subjective, <clears throat> right? Right? So the Method and Madness branch of the distillery is more kind of the innovative side of the brand. Um, the, it's called the more experimental brand with finishes and whiskeys. And we've seen incredibly aged single grains, mulberry wood, pot still whiskeys, cherry wood. Um, I think I had an Acaccia wood before that was a specialist to another whiskey retailer in Dublin. Um, along with this release, the world's first release of pot still whiskey finished in Japanese cedar wood casks. And a first for the Irish industry is a pot still finished in Japanese chestnut casks. They aren't here, Eve, obviously, in case you missed that. But the 33 year old is, well, a sample is. Uh, lovely to see. It is the oldest Irish whiskey finished in Mitsunara cask. Kind of risky in my opinion, because if you watch the Glendalock seven year old Mitsunara review I did, you would know how difficult and expensive it is to work with the Mitsunara wood. Um, I'm not going to go into that here, but needless to say, it all worked out. And here we have a very limited release of just 252 bottles a cash strength of 52.8% ABV. Stunning. Uh, as you can imagine, this is a very, very limited release. The pot still distillate in this was laid down in 1988 and matured for 30 years exclusively in bourbon barrels before being transferred to Japanese Mitsunara casks from the Hokkaido region in Northern Japan. Now, I think we should take a moment here to appreciate some very awesome packaging and labeling this is absolutely shit cool. I'm a sucker for cool designs and something that is well done. Um, you've heard me before talk about different labels. I really do love a nice looking bottle of whiskey and a box to, that it actually comes in. And this, don't fall, is class. The detail on this is incredible. I have a sample supplied by Carrie Killarney. 
So the packaging on this was uh, designed by a Swedish Irish team, um, M&E, and it brings the influence of the different wood finishes to life on the pack with traditional black and gold label for the Mitsunara, while the other two releases in the trilogy, which aren't here, do adorn uh, awesome neon inspired labels too. The labels feature traditional um, Samanagashi designs, which is a Japanese marbling method dating back to the 12th century. I'm impressed I remember that. All three expressions are also adorned with a unique kanji or character from the traditional Japanese calligraphy describing the wood type and the age of the liquids. I don't know if you can see that. I'm hoping that's the kanji. Kanji. There. It's there too. How cool is that? So that's all well and good. Packaging, all that good stuff, old whiskey. Uh, the price. And I've held off telling this until now because I've... I wanted to get through all the info on that, but the retail on this was 3,000 euros. And I believe they are all sold out or incredibly hard to get now at this point. We do have one here along with a 50 mil sample that I've shown you already. The sample costs 220 euro. Uh, this is definitely the most expensive whiskey I have and certainly a collector's item. Um, this bottle won't be opened here, I doubt. The lads may or may not at some point down the road. But uh, I do have the sample here, which I am grateful for getting again, sponsored by Christie's, 220 euros. So, uh, you know, a lot of money, but it's good hooch, hopefully. Now, if you like the fact that I'm drinking ridiculously expensive whiskeys as much as I like it, then smash that like button and consider subscribing because this may or may not happen again. It's pricey running a YouTube channel when you're not sponsored by Sex by Christie's. That was nice. Carry out Killarney, they bought the bottles, open them, ballsy, nice move. And we pour the ridiculously priced whiskey. So to sum up, 33-year-old Mitsunara finished pot still Irish whiskey for Method of Madness, 52.8% ABV, uh, 252 bottles, 30 years in bourbon, three years Japanese Mitsunara, 3,000 euro retail. That's for a 70 mil bottle. Uh, the lads here paid, I believe, 220 euros for a 50 mil sample. And this is cask number 268340, sponsored by, uh, sent down by Carry Out Canardi, sponsored by Chrissy's, of course. And the oldest whiskey I've ever had. Let's do it. I'm excited. I am excited. Genuinely. I am thrilled. Look at that. Nice dram too. Healthy. Uh, I'm very excited about this. I haven't nosed it. This is what you're seeing now is my first everything. I promise you that. And it's nothing short of incredible. Straight off the nose. <laughs> it oozes old. It oozes complexity it is you have the first thing that stands out is the nutty notes toasted nuttiness nutty notes of course you're going to get that from the old how long it's been in bourbon oh there's a tannin in there as well do you know what i'm getting as well that stands out a lot to me um, it didn't have to start because I, got, I was getting all those pot stills. It's not very spicy. Oh, man. It's leathery. It's kind of like a leathery note. And... Oh, there's like a coffee grind in there. A lovely, lovely, lovely coffee grind in there. That's subtle. Subtle, but it goes well with the toast, the, the nuttiness, and the kind of leathery note that I got. A hint of sweetness, but it's not... Um, you're not, you know, bright bright sweetness you're kind of going off your kind of dark like a caramel very subtle very subtle it oozes age it you know it is complex it is damn nice oh yeah opens up then a little bit more you kind of give it a little little stir Oh, pot still vibrance coming through. Yeah, some of the pot still distillate, you're kind of getting a little bit of that, actually, surprisingly, for an age statement that high. It's quite oily. All right, that's enough love making to this. Let's have a little bit of We'll get it on the palate. Slancha. Wow. Spicy. Very spicy. The nuttiness and the tannins are, are coming right through. You're getting a lot of interaction with the wood there. There was another note on the front of it. Um, I'm not sure what it was. 
want to say it reminded me of a very decadent kind of brown sugar. Does that make sense? Sinatra. There's definitely a note there at the start now I can't really get. And I'm not familiar with it. I don't get it too often. But what stands out the most on the palette is a bit of vanilla, but more so the woody, nutty tannins. I've had Mitsunara before, but there's none of that real kind of brightness that I had. Now I know I understand that the, the Mitsunara whiskeys that I've had before were younger. Uh, one was a blend, one was a single moth, and they were brighter. The notes from you could definitely pick out the Mitsunara. Now I'm not getting a whole lot of Mitsunara on that. What I'm getting is a lot of kind of oaky notes, nutty notes, pot still distillate, spice. Um, it's quite complex. So to be able to pull out everything in a 10 minute video, this is something you need to sit down with. This is something that you need to let develop over time. Um, an incredible price whiskey, you know, it's even on the finish, it's still there, it's still on the cheeks. You know, you're still having your pots still spices. Um, definitely the woody notes are, are pumping through there on the finish. Quite an expensive dram. I'm, I'm tempted to have another one, but I won't. Um, Method of Madness, 33 euros, uh, cast number 268340. The oldest whiskey I have had, and it's good. Now, when I say it's good, is it 3,000 euros good? Uh, I, I think it's more aimed at the collectors. Um, it, like I said, it is quite complex. Any real whiskey aficionados and, and, and connoisseurs will pull this apart uh, bit by bit. Uh, in a five minute video or 10 minute video here, I'm not really going to get that, but I will sit down and I will update underneath uh, when I do a tasting at home in my own kind of area uh, with some of my notes and see how much it has developed. This is definitely something that I'm gonna revisit. I think it deserves being revisited. Um, beautiful whiskey, nicely aged, uh, worth three grand. I don't personally think so myself, um, but rare. Uh, you know, rare Irish whiskey, that's the kind of idea behind this. You don't see too many 33 year old Irish whiskeys out there anymore. At all, really, actually. Now, come to think of it, is there? Ah, you have the Silent Distillery, which is much older, but this is close. Now, I am absolutely delighted and thrilled and blessed to be able to get to try this when you're in the kind of whiskey thing like I am. Uh, it's not too often you get to try stuff like this. Um, and if anybody actually out there wants to sponsor me an expensive dram of Irish whiskey, then by all means, do get in touch with me. Leave a message below in the comments. I mean, I'm lucky enough as it is to get to try some of these whiskeys, so that's ex just lucky. Really though, I do have to say a huge thank you to the lads here in Chrissy's for hooking me up with this. Uh, I am forever grateful to be in a position to be able to try all these whiskeys anyway, let alone uh, one of the oldest Irish whiskeys ever released. So yeah, I do thank you. Now this won't be on sale here, but there are over 250 different whiskeys, all of X and Caliber on sale here for you to come down and enjoy. And I implore you to do so. Give me a shout. I might stop in for a little small one with you if I'm around. Radio, until next week, I'm gonna leave it there and I will update in the comment section below once I've had more of this and I'm given a chance to sit down with it. Till then, take it handy and I will chat soon. Keep it Irish. Sláinte.